yeah hi hello does my hair look okay doyle my dog is sitting on the couch and judging me like right there judgment day right there well hello my friends and welcome to the q a a few days ago i posted on instagram and facebook uh questions or not questions but like kind of a call for questions and i figured i would answer them so let's go into the instagrammables and see what y'all had to say. This was my little image that I used. I just made a little imagey guy. Let's get into this. This is gonna be long, so grab a snack. You might have to take a break, and I totally understand, but you guys asked all these questions, so I figured, why not? All right, let's start at the beginning of the Instagram, and then maybe there'll be like a part two. Maybe I'll do all the Facebook questions in a different video because it's gonna be just like really long. It's gonna be long regardless. So let's do the Instagram questions first, then I'll do a separate video for Facebook. I'm just figuring this out right now on the fly. So let's just go with it. Here we go, Instagram Q&A. First question, I haven't looked at these by the way. Since you have more free time, are you going back to your regular scheduled contents? Also, will you be doing monthly budgets again? Um. Yes and no. So regularly scheduled content would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard, and I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I kind of went into it in another like video a while back, but it just doesn't work for me any longer. So I'm just uploading when the videos are ready now. So I hope you guys can like understand that. But I will be doing budgets again. I will be like basically this whole month of March is a whole budget for me, these vlogs, because I'm just showing you how much I'm spending every day and what I'm spending money on. Even like household bills that come in, I'm talking about everything. So basically this whole month of vlogs is all my whole month budget so if that's something that you're interested in watching obviously you can check out the vlogs I will put a playlist down below it's my no spend March vlogs and um, yeah so that's kind of what I'm doing I will be doing a budget in April but I'm still not going to be showing income I kind of went into that last time I talked about doing budgets and y'all are really opinionated about not seeing my income anymore my goodness so I'm just gonna say no to ever showing income again. It just, it was fine for a while. And um, I mean, but the budgets, com to be honest, are um, very mundane to me because most of my stuff stays the same all the time. The only time I ever have to budget for things is if I've got like a trip or uh, something that's going on. But to be honest, all the trips that I currently have are all prepaid. So I'm not really like budgeting those. Um, I'm going to be budgeting some like, like more eating out budget and like things like that. Cause I'm not going to be at home, but I don't know. So yes and no to answer your question. Next question. What type of industry are you looking to work in? Um, I would love to work in like social media marketing. Um, that's kind of part of the job that I did before at my previous job. I also did sales. Um, and I also do like office administrative kind of work. So that type of work, I think. Um, it says, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> about your recent, oh, oh, she says, how are you feeling? Question mark. And it says, about your recent job loss and then life in general. I'm feeling fine. I, no complaints over here. <laughs> Next question. How is Doyle enjoying more mommy time? I think he's enjoying it okay. He's kind of confused. I'm looking at him on the couch right now. He, but he always looks confused and judgmental, so I don't know. Um, I think he's doing okay. He's just, you know, loving life, and he would be doing the same thing anyway. The only difference is that he's out all day now because he normally just hops right in his kennel when I get ready in the morning, and now that I'm not, like, I'm just hanging out all day, he's liking that just because, you know, around lunchtime, like, after I'm done with lunch, then he, like, we get to go on uh, w a l k a little sooner than it took me to like get home from work. So, um, yeah, but he just sits on the heat vent and lays on the bed all day and, or lays on the couch. So that's about it. So here's a good question. It was a short work span. Oh, she's, this person's talking about my last employer that I worked for from September to the end of February. Uh, and, sh and they write, it was a short work span. Did they give you any reason that you were eliminated or that they eliminated your position? Did you have any clues that it was a possibility? Uh, and as she says, they're lost, but I would like to see more monthly budget videos. Yeah, that's coming up. Okay. Um, no and no. So they didn't really give me a reason. Well, 
The reason was they just didn't want to spend the money on the position any longer. This was a brand new position that they had created for me um, because I had a ton of knowledge in the type of product that they sold and um, they wanted to do like social media marketing as well as me doing sales as well. I had 30 days of doing that because previous to that I was actually learning how to do the um, front desk person's job because she was going on maternity leave. So the very beginning of me being there, um, I learned how to do this person's job. And then from there, sorry, my phone keeps going in and out. Um, from there, I took over her position for the duration of her maternity leave. And then her and I spent about two weeks together when she came back to just kind of like get everything up to speed. And then I took over this new position. So I based, I had less than 30 days of the p new position that they had created for me. And I don't know why. And I was never talked to about job performance, nothing like that. Um, I was doing the things I was supposed to do and that had been expressed to me by my direct supervisor of what to do. And um, I completed all the tasks with flying colors and you know, I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, how can I be correct about this? Okay, so here's the question. Is it possible you can go back to your previous job? And then they write in parentheses, the one before this one, and if not, why not? Well, why not is like not a good question to ask just because I have my reasons. If you guys can recall, and I might be throwing them under the bus a little bit, but that's okay. They don't watch the internet and I'm not gonna tell you who I worked for anyway because it really doesn't matter. Um, if you guys follow me on the internet on like Facebook and Instagram, you would have remembered back in the summer of this past year in 2017 um, that I had some really, really bad headaches and serious issues with migraines. In the late summer slash early fall, I was actually in the emergency room overnight because of it. And um, a lot of that stemmed from stress that was brought upon by the position that I had at my previous, like my, my previous, previous employer. It was not a good fit. I couldn't do the things that I needed to do to make that business a success in my mind. Uh, I got a lot of resistance from the owner of the company, even though they wanted me to do certain things, I would get railroaded and it just wouldn't be good. So um, I had to leave just for my health, to be completely honest. So yeah, so absolutely not. I will never go back there. Um, I wish them well. I have no ill feelings about them. I wish them all the success in the world. It's just not a good fit for me. Like I couldn't disassociate my brain from the work that still needed to be done at work. Like I would like emotionally bring that home with me and a lot of it stemmed from like, financial issues. I ran the finances there and it was just too, it was too much for me. It, at the end of the day, it was too much for me to handle. All right, so next question. Any tips or tricks for someone who has never budgeted before? Absolutely. Um, I would follow Dave Ramsey um, online or like, I think you can do, I think there's like budgeters out there that you can look at and things like that. Um, my suggestions to, to someone that's never budgeted before is write it down on a piece of paper and put it on your fridge. That's really helpful to see like a visual of how much you're spending or how much you think you need to be spending. Like, um, I think I alluded to this and like, or talked about this or whatever maybe in one of my vlogs or something. I think it was a vlog, but um, just talking about like going to Target and like not going into like your trigger sections if you know you're on a no spend or you know that you have you know, $400 in your grocery budget for the month and that's all you have. You know, getting it in cash as well also works pretty well for most people. So, um, I mean, do what's right for you and your family, but honestly writing it down and if you um, are married, sitting down with your spouse and creating a budget is really helpful because then if you're trying to save money and do all these things and pay down debt or whatever you're trying to accomplish and your partner is doing the exact opposite, it's really hard to be on the same page. Next question, have you decided on a business yet? Considered going back to school, getting a degree in something that you could use towards your business, good luck on your journey, wishing you all the best. Well, thank you. Um, I have an idea, but the problem is I don't know how to make that idea happen. And before anybody asks, I'm not gonna share what it is because someone could very easily go and do this. And not easily, but 
that has the skill set to create it go create it and I'm not gonna talk about it anyways but I don't think I would go to school for that because I'm just not that smart <laughs> um but I think I I'm gonna be talking to some people soon about possibly hiring out for that type of a position offering some sort of equity or something I, I don't know how it's gonna work but Hopefully, hopefully it works out. I don't know. And maybe nothing will ever happen with it. I have no idea. So, um, but yes, I have an idea. You guys will know as soon as I can say anything about it. Okay? Okay. Do you enjoy being single and not having and to answer to anyone? Absolutely. It's amazing. Um, I have in my life, not in my like social media life because I've, since I started YouTube and started like Instagramming pretty heavily, um, I have not been in a committed relationship. So I have had pretty serious committed relationships previous, what before my social media life. Um, but I just don't care enough to go find a mate. I know that's horrible to say and I've said it a million times, but if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, I'm just totally content as to like not having somebody to answer to and not dealing with some of the inevitable drama that comes with having a relationship. I like my small little life, and I don't know, I just feel like a relationship for me has always been in addition to my life, it hasn't been my whole life. And maybe I'm looking at it in the wrong way and maybe that's why I'm single. You know, my whole life I've never wanted to have children and I've been like on the fence of if I ever wanted to actually get married. Um, I was engaged at one point, which maybe someday I'll do like a story about, but maybe not, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, I just feel like it should be obviously a large part of your life, but it should add to it and not take away from it. Cause I do have like people in my life and friends and family that are like very dramatic about their relationships and everything's a problem and there's always issues. And it's just like, I mean, it makes my eye twitch cause it's like, oh my gosh, like why? <laughs> but I mean, it's what they choose to do and what they choose to accept into their lives too. So to me, I like things very like plain and simple and easy. And I know relationships are not easy and they're multifaceted and I get that, but you know, to genuinely like, like somebody enough to deal with their crap <laughs> is, uh, is difficult. Is <laughs> And I know a lot of you in relationships can understand me about that. Like to genuinely like somebody enough to deal with the day-to-day -day stuff that comes with that is sometimes not in the best interest of the relationship, just depending on what your deal breakers are. Did you know Jody before you started YouTube? I think you guys are referring to Jody from Life's Organized Chaos. Uh, no, actually I didn't. Um, I didn't even know she was a Minnesota planner girl. I had started following her on Instagram and then found out that she was from Minnesota and I lived in North Dakota at the time. So we became internet friends and then we met, I think we met at a meetup the first time. I think, yeah, I think we met at a meetup the fir for the first time. And then um, we decided to hang out after that, like independently, just the two of us, and we become buddies. So no, I didn't know her before YouTube. Um, when do you plan to take down your Christmas decorations and what are your plans for that space? Um, I already took down my tree. I do have like up above here some like garland that needs to come down. Um, so I don't know what you're referring to as to the decorations because the only space that still has some sort of decoration is my like railings. So, um, and what I plan to do with my railings is leave them blank, I guess. Uh, let's see, my brother says, do you fondue? And I'm just gonna like leave that one alone, okay? Phil, stop it. Stop leaving weird comments on my pictures, okay? Next question, what kinds of things do you like to do for entertainment during a no spend? Library, Netflix, and then she also asks, what are your favorite shows on Netflix? Okay, so I'm not like big into reading, like it's just not my bag, but um, I do like to watch TV. Um, Netflix, I love. Uh, favorite shows on Netflix, Sons of Anarchy, amazing. I believe it's still on Netflix. Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, those are amazing. Um, I know that those are on like regular network TV, but I don't watch them until they all come on Netflix and then I just binge it because it's amazing. Uh, Orange, is the new, blah, blah, blah. Orange is the New Black, always awesome. Let's see, Ozark with Jason Bateman. That one was really good and I hope that they come up with a new season very soon. What other ones do I really enjoy? I don't know. I mean, those are kind of a good 
list, like a good like starting list. But I mean, I'm sure I could list off a million more, but I just can't like think about it right now. Someone asked, how long can you go without working? Um, I guess as long as I can. I don't know, that's kind of a different question. Um, how long can you, I mean, anyone can go not working for the rest of their life, I guess, but it just depends on your financial state and everything like that. I'm not really gonna say just because then if you guys knew my budget, then you would know how much money I have. I'm not gonna answer that question. A good amount of time. Let me just put it that way, a good amount of time. There you go. Um, so I'm not really like stressed out about finding a new job or anything. Next question, any tips to have a successful no spend month? I've done a week and thought it was difficult. I commend you for doing a whole month. Um, yeah, so really making a meal plan if you have a family, like if you have children or a husband or a wife or whatever, you know, making a meal plan and really eating out of the freezer and pantry is like super helpful for me. Um, and I really, really enjoy that. And just doing the minimum, um, saying no to friends and family to go do things or uh, participate in things and stuff like that. Like um, I have now, apparently I have, I think a birthday party to go to in two weeks. And I was not planning on buying a gift, but I do have, one thing here that I was possibly saving for Christmas for this child and I think I'm just gonna give him that when I go to this birthday party because I wasn't planning on spending anything and I got this like cool gift that I think that he would enjoy during like after Christmas sales and I'm just gonna give it to him then if there is in fact a party I'm not sure if there is it's kind of like up in limbo it's in limbo right now so I'm not really sure but just doing with what you have I guess is probably my best advice so, and when I talk about no spend, uh, it's like that video that I post or that I posted a couple of days ago, pay your bills obviously, but like just don't do any extras. Like if you need like margarine at the store and it's like two for $5, just get the one. You don't need to buy two of them, buy one. And then when you're out, get another, you know, but if you go through a tub of margarine a week, then maybe buy two, you know, like obviously I understand with like, you know, gas prices and, uh, you know, fuel and vehicles and, you know, wear and tear and time it takes to go grocery shopping. But I mean, I can only talk for myself because I'm a single individual. I know a lot of you watching, you know, have a spouse and have several children and all of that. So what I consume is very different than what y'all consume. So anyway, that'd probably be my, my tips. Just starting out on the baby steps. So question is, how do you know how much a fluid budget? I don't know what that means, but okay. And then like she just wrote in parentheses, groceries slash gas slash et cetera should be. What I would do if I were you is before you start actually budgeting that entire month, track your expenses for like the month previous. So if you have like a debit card or something that you can pull up, you can say like, okay, well here's how much we spent on gas for the vehicles. Here's how much we spent on insurance. Here's how much we spent on groceries. And then make your budget from there. Um, if you don't have that ability, then take a month and track everything and just put everything into categories of this, here's how much we spent on clothing and here's how much we spent on entertainment and blah, 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 blah. So then you can like really see how much you're, how much is going places. That's what I would do. Um, let's see. Ooh, someone has a job question. It even says job questions in a dash. Um, it says, do you have any idea of your, did you have any idea that your position was being eliminated or was it a complete shock uh, the day you walked in? It was a complete shock. Uh, all right, so let's see. Next question. How do you feel to lose your job but have no debt and an emergency fund? I feel great. I feel great about it. Are you pulling the money to pay your bills from your emergency fund or do you still have money from your paychecks from work? Um, right now, I'm not touching any of my, I haven't touched any of my emergency fund money yet. Um, there may or may not come a time where I need to, but I'm gonna avoid that at all costs. Pun intended. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm not really, I, I'm, I'm actually not pulling any money from that right now. Um, and I know it's there if I need it. And if I don't, then that's fantastic. So hopefully I find a job soon and I don't have to touch it. Any ideas on your own business? Yes, I kind of alluded to, this, alluded to that earlier, but yes. What do you enjoy doing on your free time away from YouTube slash hobbies slash interests? Really, YouTube is my hobby. I don't really have many hobbies outside of what I do on YouTube. So I love like organizing and decluttering, doing home stuff, obviously like planning. And I'm like looking that way cause it's like kind of all sitting over there right now. Um, I enjoy spending time with my dog, even though he doesn't necessarily want to spend time with me. Um, he's looking at me again with a lot of attitude 
and he's curled up like a little cinnamon bun at the moment. So anyway, um, no, I don't really have any like anything that I haven't talked about or shown on YouTube. This is a good question. Just curious. Do you have noisy or noise? I can't talk. This is a good question. Just curious. Do you have noisy neighbors? Um, not really. The neighbors this way, this way are like almost at retirement age. Like they could retire now, but they just haven't yet. Um, so they still like work a normal shift. So they're pretty chill. Um, the neighbors this way are retired. So their TV is on like all day. And the only time I can hear that TV is if I'm sitting at my dining table, but it's super muffled. So I don't really know. And they're not very nosy or anything like that. So no, they're pretty chill. It says now that you're home more, do you notice more noise during the day? Not really. Um, like I said, these people over here, they're retired, so they have the TV on all day. Um, but I don't, like I said, I can only hear like muffled noises um, if I'm sitting at my dining table, but nothing, it's not loud. So let's see, ooh, good question. What do you look forward to experiencing during your Alaska cruise? I am I am very excited. I'm gonna be vlogging it. I won't be able to upload during Alaska just because, you know, like Wi-Fi isn't, I mean, it's existent on the ship, but you gotta pay a lot of money for it. So I'll just do it when I get back home. But I'm just looking forward to seeing all the scenery. That's what I'm looking most forward to. I think I've answered this before, but um, if you had to choose another country to live in, where would that be? I would choose Canada. This person also asks, what tattoos do you have? And can you do a video showing them? Um, and then someone else says, uh, she said she's never gonna show them, but curiosity has me too. Okay, I have three tattoos and they are all in places that I would never show on the internet. I'll put it that way. Um, they are all below the belt. Okay? Okay. So, hopefully that, uh, maybe it sparks your curiosity even more, but that was not my intention. My intention was to just say, they're not places I would ever show online. Okay? Okay, but I have three of them, and I, I like them all, but yeah, no. Not showing it on the internet. Uh, that's not what my channel's all about. <laughs> Next question. Would you consider moving to another country to earn money if necessary? I mean, I guess so. I'd consider anything. My motto is never say never, especially with work opportunities and things like that. Um, I would hate to leave my house here because I love it and I have lots of scheduled improvements for it, but um, you know, life can kind of take you in all these different random weird directions. And if you told me five years ago that I'd be right here filming this video in this town with this house, with mortgage and all that, I would be like, yeah, right, whatever. So anyway, but never say never to any kind of opportunity. You just never know. But obviously do your research and just don't be dumb, you know? Um, do, 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 do you plan on doing monthly budget videos again? Yes. Okay, then they also say, I'd especially like to see how you budget now that you're job free. I've currently just applied for unemployment in Australia, so cur curious how it works. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how much I'm making on unemployment because I just am not gonna share income any longer, but I will go through my basic expenses and um, just show you guys how I budget and then what I'm planning on spending on like food and gas. And now that I'm not, you know, driving super far every day, gas is probably gonna be a little bit like slimmer of a budget than normal, but we'll see. Um, I'll go through it all though. It says, would you be willing to do more chatty get ready with me videos? I love the one in your blog series and totally went out and bought a couple of the beauty products you used. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't really realize that people liked those. I was just kind of getting ready in the morning. Um, I have not since, uh, my position was eliminated. I have not worn makeup at all, which is first of all, a money saving hack, obviously. I'm just giving my skin a break. So, I might wear some makeup on Saturday, maybe? I might not, I don't know, but we'll see. But maybe I'll do like a get ready with me unemployment edition or something like that. Or if I'm going out to like an interview or something like that, I'll probably wear makeup. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. So the answer is maybe. I'm not gonna say yes, I'm not gonna say no, I'm gonna say maybe. Uh, someone asked, best snow day activities. I'll be getting what you're getting tomorrow. Um, just stay inside. That's your best snow day activity. Stay inside and do something productive indoors. <laughs> 
Next question, how has your experience with home ownership been? Will your current home be your forever, forever home? Or do you plan to sell in the future? Well, I plan to sell in the future, obviously. I think everyone plans to sell in the future. Um, but what that future is, is kind of undetermined. My experience with home ownership has been just fine so far. Um, but I do plan to sell at some point, but um, not anytime soon. And when I think of soon, I think in like five years is soon. Um, that's not my plan, so no. All right, next question. Do you ever get lonely or down by what sort of work you're looking for? I don't really understand the question, but no, I guess no. I'm just gonna go with no. <laughs> and then someone asks, what two totally normal things become really weird if you do them back to back? Um, I don't know. Maybe like taking a shower and then going and playing out in the dirt, like, that's weird, like you should do it in the opposite order, maybe? I don't know, I guess that's all I can think of. Um, all right, next question, are you a night owl or a morning person? Uh, currently, I am waking up earlier in the morning, like early, like I normally do. Uh, normally I was waking up about 5, 5.30 every morning, like with my alarm. Now I'm waking up about 6.30 or 7, so my body clock is like still on that. I don't know, I, I stay up late though too sometimes, so I think I'm neither, I don't know. But if I had to choose one, I would probably choose Night Owl because I do like to sleep in, but then the dog doesn't like it when I sleep in and then he gets mad at me, and then he complains, and then he barks at me until I wake up, and he just complains and goes Rrr. I guess I wanna be a night owl so I can sleep in, but the dog doesn't like that, so I don't know. Um, okay, so this question, how much money did you make on the FDE D stash? Well, if you're really that interested, you could go onto my FDE D stash on my Instagram page and total up everything, and I sold out. So if you're that curious, Go figure out your math skills and you can do that if you really want. I didn't make exactly that much money because there were fees associated with using PayPal and also I had to ship everything. If you're really that interested, you could go figure it out. <laughs> Next question, how do you get motivated to do chores and housework being single? I have such a hard time with this. I totally understand you. You know, I just get a fire under my ass and I just do it. A lot of times I just turn on my Pandora, like hip hop barbecue and just clean until it's done. Like, or I turn on a podcast or something like that. Something to just like get me motivated. If I like watch TV, I can't do it because I just want to sit down and just veg out and like not do anything if the TV's on. But if I have music on or if I have a podcast on, I'm like moving around. So. Um, that's what kind of helps me stay motivated. All right, and last question on Instagram. If you were to learn a foreign language, what would it be and why? I would want to learn all of them. Is that an option? I wish that was an option. I'm not sure. Um, I think if I were to obviously I live in the United States, I would probably want to learn Spanish. I know a little bit of uh, un poquito espanol, and I don't even know if that's like the right term. So if you speak Spanish, I'm sorry if I offended you. I speak very little Spanish, um, but uh, I went, uh, in high school I did one year of Spanish, so I went through Spanish one, and then that was it. I can say like very small phrases like me amo Emily, right? Is that my name is Emily? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm like getting taken back to like 10th grade. <laughs> so um, yeah, but I would love to learn all of them, but if I had to pick one it would probably be Spanish just because there are a lot of um, Spanish speaking individuals in the United States. So I would love to communicate with someone that's a Spanish speaking person more than I can obviously right now with my like very, very small knowledge of the Spanish language. But anyway, that is it for Instagram. And um, I'm gonna turn the camera off here, but I am gonna pop over to Facebook and do this again. But I will post that video after this one. So I'll do my Instagram one first, and then I will do Facebook second. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about anything, post them down below. I won't be doing a Q&A for a little while, but I, I always will call out for questions on Instagram and Facebook when I do a Q&A. So feel free to follow me there. The links are always below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.